Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to my channel, Viking Gaming. We are going to start a new Let's Play of a game called Kings of Lorne, The Fall of Ebris, or Ebris. Not sure how that's pronounced. Um, this is going to be blind. I have never heard of this game before. It's kind of just out of nowhere. It seems like we have a baby fetus floating in embers, which is weird. All right. So I'm going to do a couple episodes of this and see how the feedback is on it. And then I might actually do a full let's play of it, uh, depending on how you guys feel about it. Uh, like I said, this is a blind let's play, so I'm going to suck until I get used to it. Just a forewarning. So let's get into it and see how this game is. I'm guessing these are difficulties. Peasant, knight, king, deity. Um, We'll start at knight because that's probably the normal difficulty. And I will adjust it if need be. Very Mortal Kombat y. Ooh, attractive. Doesn't really seem like a uh, AAA title game, but the graphics don't seem too bad so far. That foot was floating. Definitely not triple A game. Unless EA made it, then it makes sense. My allergies today are making my throat just dry. Wait. 
That sounded fantastic. It was never the plague we sought to stop, but to find its origin, to find the world it came from, the world known as Lorne. And in return for our loyalty, Goldbrand promised us immortality and a throne beside him in our new world. The Recreant King has returned. After you have been will live on as our people's final memory of you. They would never forgive me if I let a heretic such as yourself rejoin our kingdom. You are now but a pawn, here to play your part. For a purpose far beyond your puny mind can comprehend. God shall Right in the face. Look at all them skeletons. <clears throat> okay, so that guy's mask was kind of freaky. Okay.
Right, so I have adopted the uh, thing of um, not talking during cutscenes. I'll do my best to not do that. Sometimes little quips will come out, but generally I will not talk during cutscenes. Uh, how do I pick it up? Well, that's definitely not it. Well, that's definitely not it. Nope, that's a punch. Block. Yeah, it's not giving me, like, tutorial or nothing. Well, so that's what these are for. Can I have it? Huh. So apparently, uh, the right stick is to pick it up. They look like the last right cores that power the portal. One core per Wayseeker statue. All different colors. I don't know where the guards ran off to. I went blind some time ago, but I did hear a lot of screaming in the distance. Anyone who wants to get back to Ina will need to find these cores and reactivate the portal. Otherwise, make yourself at home. No. That's so weird. Was it? Timing is everything. Be methodical. Plan your attacks. If you block immediately after an attack, attack again. Uh, don't give these monsters an opening, and if you can't block, evade or dodge away. I leave this note to. I leave this note to all who may find themselves stuck here in the hall, in this hail. I made it back home to Ina, or Anna, hootie what ya. Okay, so the action's a little bit slow. That's a weird save. Going the right way? I have no idea. That's Goozy. Okay. So the attack is really slow. Howdy doody. Did I hit you through the gate? You could hit me through the gate. Okay. Rude. What the heck? I wonder if it's like a skill to allow me to attack faster. And that aim. Goodness gracious. I'm hitting right in the middle. 
which I've hit it before. You've seen it. And I'm hitting everything but him. Haha, <laughs> you did it. Hey, hey, hey. All right. What I get? Eld of Spirit. I'm done playing with you. I have to gotta get a better weapon, a better hang on these controls or something. Find a high level key. I can they see nothing. How is I supposed to find a whole lot of nothing in a whole lot of darkness? Oh, there's two. I better kill you fast. D E D. Dead. Stop it. You're gross. That was the starting area right there. So I'm confuzzled. There's another healing potion. Holy. Get out of here. I don't like what you're selling. Uh, stop it. Okay. Yeah, see? I'm still getting uh, pretty well damaged. Even with my block, so I don't... Is there like a leveling system in this? I have no way. Go away. Oh, I didn't do that. I'm sorry, Birdie. I didn't mean to explode you. Huh. This is precarious. Oh, -ho -ho. excuse me. Excuse me. Can I hit something, please? That's a man. Nobody wants it. You don't sell anything good. Stop it. Confused. But it looks like there's a health potion over there, so let's go grab it. Okay. Nobody wants it. Yum. For real, though, I can't see nothing. 
I turned the brightness up a lot. I was told that YouTube likes to like dim um, the brightness on videos. Why? I don't know. But even with it turned up like quite a bit. D E D. Rude. Anyways, he likes to dim the video quality, so I turned up the brightness on this so I could get, you know, see better for one because it is, oh my goodness, it's dark. And so I could, um, you know, put out a better quality video for you guys. I also found out that, uh, my, some of my previous videos, the, uh, audio for me was lower. I don't really know what happened. The only thing I can conclude is something happened between me uploading it to YouTube. Um, cause I went back and I checked like all my recordings, all, all the volume is all the same. All the decibels are all the same. So there's really no reason for the audio to be lower in some and fine in others. So I'm, that's what I'm guessing is somehow the audio got messed up or something in between here or my computer and YouTube, which is fine. You know, stuff happens. So I'm not dogging them at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise the decibel up just a little bit. Uh, hopefully I won't be too loud and we'll just get, um, the volume a little bit higher to hopefully it'll even out if it does get lowered, but only time will tell. We'll find out. So let's keep going. After the beginning, when all the when all of existence had settled and found its place amongst the stars, the creator Eris, like Final Fantasy VII Eris, you know she died, right? Uh, sought a new goal, a new purpose and plan for the universe to bring more vision to that which he had sown. Okay, so that's a guy apparently. Eris gave life to a group of lesser gods that would serve his will and assist the continued expansion of the eternal universe. This group he called the Evarin, or Evarin, and he bestowed all his knowledge and teachings to them, the art of world creation. Cool. Uh, this doesn't really seem like very... Uh, Useful to the game, just kind of like lore. So if you want, from now on, I'm just going to slowly scroll through them, and you could pause the video to read it if you want. If not, it's up to you. But it doesn't really seem all that helpful or useful. And quite honestly, this game is kind of a... <laughs> Can I have any of this gold? It's just chilling. That looks like death. Let's not go to death. Oh. Is there a fire down here so I can finally light this stupid thing? There's something glowing down there. So it's the cristal. All right, so that does not look like a fire. Excuse me. Excuse me. Bunch of dead bodies around a glowing rock. Yeah, that seems like something I want to pick up. Ooh. Ruby Lacerite Core. You guys are new. So I haven't been over here yet. Well, there's no direction. There's no... Looks like Skelly Boy saw me first. So I'll take care of him. Well, there's nothing. There's nothing at all what's going on. There's no menus. There's no nothing. I don't know what's going on. Right in the Canadian. I don't want it. 
Go away. That sand still tripping me out. It's literally nothing. Hey, look, a key. Can I have it? Thank you. Require a little level key. To what? Yeah. Go away. Swing. You have no idea how spammy I was on that attack button and I wasn't attacking. Oh, well, two, at least three enemies. It almost seems like the damage is based off of where you hit them. Oh, excuse me? Excuse me. Can I hit you? No? You're just gonna hit me? Whoa. Okay. Um, I'm gonna die. Yeah, this game is it's something else, man. Trying to give it the benefit of the doubt, but it's just, it's so bad. And I gotta tell you, they're selling this game for basically full price. And look how garbage it is. It's just, there was nothing in there other than that stone. Like, what else do you want me to do? Mid-level. Maybe the enemies aren't. The door is, like, higher level. Okay. So maybe the enemies aren't responding, they're just somehow I'm missing. Ancient dagger of the poke. Okay, so it has a much faster attack rate, but it's a dagger. So that's kind of lame. So we got to find this mid gate thing. Is you is? You is. Oh. Ho Much faster attack, but but it is a dagger. Ooh, what are you? 
high level. Cool, cool. It'd be cool to have like a shield. It does not seem like you could actually pick what you're getting. Okay. Looks like I'm missing one last right core. And I bet you I know where it's gonna be. It's gonna be behind hidden door number one. And I say hidden because I completely forgot where it is. Have I really just like walked past this door like 50,000 times? Where's Navi when you need her? She may be annoying, but at least she'd point me in the right direction. Hello? Housekeeping? Housekeeping, you want towel? Hit buck. Hit bucks. The worst part about this game is not being able to see. I can get past everything else, but not being able to see? Yeesh. How did that... Can you stab him? Am I going to die by spider because I can't hit it? What, what's going on? See what I mean? The hitbox is just terrible. I should not have missed that many times. That's another... I don't want to play with you right now. I'm going to call your mother and take you home. Wow, your mother's fast. I'm not gonna lie, these statues look a little precarious. Excuse me? Quiver of bolts? Can I not hit this one? Lacerite arrow. Okay. Pardon? That was a whole bu bunch of nope on a nope train. For real. So now I gotta find my way back to the beginning. Which is right here. Okie dokie. I didn't do it. The game is so dark that that killed my retinas. Um, 
Do I go in it? Apparently so. Okay. Creepy loading screen. I can dig it. Press any button to continue. Is the game going to explain anything now? Was that just kind of a, we're not going to hold your hand, but let you learn everything? Okay. So far, so bad. But I got a sword now. A standard issue sword of Ebris. The last time I attacked one of you, you exploded. Excuse me. Wow, they could swing those great swords quick. All right, so I'm going to leave this episode here. Um, I'm actually going to do a little bit of research on this game to figure out what the heck is going on. Um, I I will do one more episode. Actually, scratch that. I'm not going to do one more episode. This game is like I chihuahua. Anyways. I'm going to leave the episode here. I'm going to put it up and see how you guys feel about it. Um, I don't have high hopes for it, judging by uh, yikes. But I'm going to let you guys decide if you want to keep seeing it or not. Um, I'm pretty open-minded when it comes to games, so even though if it kind of sucks, I'll still play it. Uh, the game isn't really all that boring. Yet, I don't allow the first like half hour to an hour of a game to sway me whether I'm going to keep playing it or not. Because some games, it just takes a build up, you know. But, uh, definitely going to let you guys decide if you want me to keep playing. I don't know. So that wraps this first episode up. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, let me know how I'm doing as per usual what I need to uh, get better at. And I'll see you in the next episode.